got you. Ah, uh, yes. I remember. This moment, I remember it well. At this very moment, my fingers let fly my arrow. An arrow of certain death, firing that arrow could only lead to a lifetime of regret. Even so, I now live on as a servant. Goodbye, Karna. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Wait, hold on. Master? You don't want to fire, do you? That's... not true. Karna is my sworn enemy. I have more than enough loathing for him. Which is funny, because I think in the actual story, that would have been Karna's line. Since Karna was basically not treated as a member of his own family, except by his mother. Because he was, like, a bastard son, right, I think? Like, he had a different mother? Do you have a different father? I don't remember. He had different something. Anyways, he was, like, kind of the, uh, he was the, uh, he was, like, the, uh, nope, I blanked. I can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, he was the outcast, basically. It's why he felt so much pent-up aggression towards Arjuna, who was basically the favorite child. I don't actually know what Arjuna would have to feel loathsome against Karna, except for maybe going out of his way to fuck him over all the time, but still. With a master by my side, there is no reason why I should not shoot him down. However, Karna, our fight is over. I know you are not fool enough to ask for a rematch right here. Leave. If you do so, I will spare your life. And to answer your question, my true name is Arjuna. I am a servant of Master... I didn't change my name again. I should probably do that every time I just take the account. That's a lie. What did you just say? Do not lie to yourself, Arjuna. As a servant, you are forgetting one crucial thing. As long as you hide from that, you are not a true servant. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. I am. Vain and Ajna, you must proceed further to the depths of the abyss. You are free to withdraw. There are manners even between friends, and some things... Wait, what? There are manners even between... Okay. And some things are better left undisturbed. You may think of the worst case scenario. It may be a brutal scene where everyone will get hurt. But I have to go. Master. It seems Master's mind is set. Arjuna, what will you do? Why should I fear the depths of my own abyss? Master, let us go. No matter what evil a carnage awaits, justice lives within my heart. I see. Then let's go. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. A dark... Krishna lives within my heart. It whispers evil thoughts, it agitates me, guides me, and it makes me bear the pain of all my sins. What a terrible excuse. Pathetic, embarrassing, atrocious. I don't want anyone to see. But I am envious that it's evil. Okay. I see. So that is me. A man who sits on the throne, wearing a cold smile. He shows no fear of forsaking the path of a warrior. What we see ahead is the dark Krishna. Arjuna, is that the true form of the darkness you possess? Yes. It is an ugly thing, I must say. How enviable. That is truly the form of a human. 
They continue to struggle even ugly as they are. They act valiantly, but they continue to tremble in fear. They cry out saying they don't want to die and yet risk their lives to save another. Something inside me insists. I want that. I want to be that. Uh, can I get the translation? I'm not Indian. Krishna. He's one of the avatars of the god Vishnu, and it was he who sided with Arjuna in the epic of the Mahabharata. Here, he, there is no doubt that he existed. He is one of the great heroes who toyed with our armies. He is even said to have been a chariot, a charioteer for Arjuna. But there was another Krishna, one who nested himself there, here. Krishna, the me who has taken the name of my friend. So, you've returned, Arjuna. Or is this an exp expedition? Have you come here to expel the darkness and seek light? That's right. How foolish, my friend. As the one called Ki Kiriti, the Shining Crown, the only thing that can save me is the darkness found in the innermost depths. How ironic, how sad. By growing stronger, by forming closer bonds, I am left with no choice but to kill those with whom I have bonded. And now you have two individuals you must kill. That's... Please, do not look at me. I am a hero. I am a hero. No, that is not me. I must be a proper hero. And that's why I must conceal that me. Especially in front of you, Master. What did you just say? Master. Wow, this is... A lot more bland than I thought it was going to be. You know, when people told me that Arjuna basically had some sort of a split personality, this was... not what I was expecting. This is honestly really stupid. Mostly because, as I've said, in the Mahabharata, Arjuna was basically the hero. Sure, he did some dark things here and there, but a lot of it was framed in the perspective that Karna was basically the super petty one. He went out of his ways to make, to uh, steal a bunch of weapons, learn techniques specifically so he could kill Arjuna even when he was told not to. And yeah, while well, Arjuna fucking sniped him in the back of the head while he's fixing his chariot. I mean, he also joined, I believe he, I believe Karna joined the rival army simply so he could have a reason to fight Arjuna. I, I don't know. It feels like fate just took these two well-pronounced, famous Indian heroes or characters and then just said, mm, this one seems like he would be a lot more fun to make good. The hero, nah, let's turn him into a villain. So it seems very weird, and I'm not going to even touch on this whole shit about there's an avatar of Vishnu living inside of him that's technically whispering him, telling him to do evil things. I don't... I, this is dumb. This is really dumb. What's even dumber here is the MC's uh, fucking persistence of saying, Everyone has a dark side! Just the whole, like, sweep it under the rug. But... But I am... I was privileged. I respected good. I hated evil. I lived as a proud warrior. There's no way I have such malice within me. No. I cannot allow something so vile to exist within me. That's right, Arjuna. Not one person has ever seen this face of mine. No matter who it is, I must kill them. If I don't, I cannot remain a hero. This murder is a harsh necessity if I am to remain a hero. You are louder than usual, Krishna. You must be panicking. A third party has never reached this far in. Rama represents the many obstacles in one's life. 
I represent Arjuna's antagonist, even though it should technically, I guess, I guess technically it works out vice versa, but I was going to say technically you're, no, you are Arjuna's antagonist, no, that makes sense, never mind. And then you, Krishna, you are Arjuna's ally, and at the same time you are here to represent evil. You are the dark shadow that burrowed into his heart at a young age. You hold completely different beliefs, priorities, and morality than him. You are his other personality who speaks to him from within. So is he a separate person? Is he just a split personality? I... I don't get this. It's confusing. Yes. We are all mere personalities comprised from Arjuna's memory. Myself included. But Master was the exception. He merely answered the call out of concern for Arjuna. What? Concern? Arjuna. In the end, we never once rode out in chariots or took up arms together. Consequently, I always thought we were bound to be enemies. Yeah, you're the one who sought that! Ah! But it's different now. Things have changed. Well, at least finally we can agree on something. When we were in America, I knew you understood my thoughts. Or rather, you were on the verge of understanding. I... Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Know your place, Karna. Just like me, you are evil itself. That's why you were defeated. Lend me your hand, Master. Together with Arjuna, we will silence this dark Krishna, convincing him we'll come after. むなしい戦いだ。そちらに駅はないぞ。では、こちら。これだ。この写真。よ、うん。狙わずと。インク。おお。これより炸裂する。では、こちらへ。誘爆起動。崩れ。うん。承知問題ない。お手調べと行くか。黙れ。いよいよ。行くぞ。ほう、問題な。あ。誘爆起動。崩れ。ブラフマストラック。調べていくか。我が断固。犬か。悲劇をもって主情を救わ。芝のご公義。崩壊とともに押し寄せ。爆縮開始。
ヘルモピロイエノモタイヤここに我が宿業を解き放とう神と人の子として罰を下す見るがこれが崩壊だパーシュパタこれ。スーリアよご承覧あれもはや戦場に呵責なし我が父よ許したまえ空前絶後バサビーシェフティーこれ無駄な行為に身を任せたか哀れな Not yet. Give me your hand, Darshina. We must stand up together to fight against evil. No, that's wrong. You're wrong, Krishna. I know it's wrong. What? I've been thinking about this the whole time. It's because of you that I was able to fire that arrow. I blamed all my cowardice, everything I did that was unbecoming of a true warrior, on you. Okay, real talk? Being a true warrior is fine and dandy and all for a trope, but in actual battlefield, it means absolutely nothing. In actual combat, the only thing that matters is life and death. If you have a chance to strike down your enemy while he is, un while he is doing something completely unrelated to you, you take that shot. Is it the most honorable thing? No, but honor doesn't matter if you're fucking dead. It's like the mercenary it's like the mercenary's code. Money is good and all, but money doesn't really help if you get shot in the fucking head. At that time I just wanted relief. I thought the battle with Karna was going to last forever. The person I had been was sw being swallowed, and I despaired knowing I was moving away from the path of a warrior. But I must accept it. No matter how much I wish to resist, the one who fired that arrow was. Don't say it, Arjuna. If you say it, you will be cursed for thousands of years. You must say it, Arjuna. There is no correct answer. The only thing you can do is hold on to your conviction until the very end. There will be times when you feel lost. That is why we must walk the path with Master. A servant needs to live their second life carrying their doubts with them. After all, you have never before reached this place where you now stand. Not even in life. I was the one who fired the arrow. I held that arrow. I fit the arrow to the bow and let it loose. It was me. Arjuna, I'm sorry. Krishna, at that decisive moment, you were not on the chariot with me. That's right. Krishna was fighting elsewhere, but after he learned of how much humiliation you suffered, he kept quiet. 
You are going to be admitting your own evil. Whether you be alive, dead, or even a heroic spirit, you cannot ever take that back. You will bear this regret for eternity. That may be true, but I have decided I will no longer fear regret. I see. Then I shall hold on to that regret of yours. Krishna? Maybe, just maybe, my existence is the leak in the dam. I don't understand what you're getting at. Nothing. I'm just talking to myself. Don't worry about it. It's time to wake up, Vaini Zanagi. It's unlikely I will make another appearance anytime soon. You should forget about this whole dream. I will not be appearing here again. Farewell, Arjuna. Farewell, Master. I will fade away too. But I must apologize, Master. The numerous times you were put in danger, all of it was because of me. It is probably because the bond between you and I has grown stronger. The deeper the bond I form with someone, the more fearful I become of them learning of the existence of my Krishna. That's why I called you to my dream, and tried to kill you. I'm such a fool. A vile, detestable betrayer. I, I would not protest should I be put to death. Master, now you know all of who, of what I am. And yet you still embrace my everything. My light, my darkness, and my evil. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Let's just go on. So tired of this trope. Oh, you accept my darkness? Bitch, have you seen some of the people inside of Archialda? Seriously. We have a child killer in here. Then God knows what else the others have done. <laughs> I have a child, a child serial killer in our midst. And we play him as a joke. I see. Then I will never again fear that smile of yours, nor this darkness. Never again. <laughs> this isn't a dream, is it? You have awoken, Master. I thank you for showing me such a wonderful dream. And I would also like to apologize for putting your life in danger. But I am in something of a bind. The crime that I committed should cost me my life. But if I do offer up my life, I would not be able to fight for you anymore. Whatever should I do? Sup? Good morning. I will waver no more. I will dedicate all that I have to serving you. But now that I think about it, I felt like I was on a long, long journey, yet it seemed a short thing at the same time. There is nothing absolute in this world. Various substances prowl, wander, and are transient. Emotions are no exception. Even love can one day change to hate and sadness. Or the opposite might happen. But there is just one thing that I can say with confidence. I feel fortunate to have met you. I am an archer. My true name is Arjna. I am a Kishtiria warrior and a servant. I lend my strength to a master in order to win back the future. I am just an average heroic spirit. Yeah, sure, whatever. Mr. Fucking throw a bomb that blows up the earth. I am a descendant of a god. But I couldn't read the rest. But not a god myself. I may have incredible power that ordinary humans lack, but I am still human. Ah, uh, no, no you're not. That's not how being a heroic spirit works. I simply fight. I fight for my master. My reason for fighting is my belief in my master. That is all I require to see myself as a hero. 
For that purpose, I can embrace the darkness within me and not be abashed by it. I am an archer. I am Arjuna. I am Vaini Zanagi's servant. Ignore that that's Eskrim Tosika. Wow, I don't even care. I don't even care. I cannot be bothered to care. That was... God. Alright, well first off, let's take a look at his extra bond. There we go. So... Arjuna's heart contains another darker personality. It is filled with hatred, mockery, and sinister plots. Unable to accept this truth, he lets this evil manipulate him into serving it. Just a side story. Krishna, who is the complete incarnation of Lord Vishnu, is a hero that exists completely outside of Arjuna's personality. That... Then why'd you call him Krishna? I don't get it. Okay. So yeah, Arjuna has a split personality. And that's their excuse for all the bad stuff he did during the Mahabharata. It had nothing to do with the fact that they were in a giant fucking war. And that war is hell. No, it was because he was secretly had an evil personality. One of the most cliched anime tropes known to mankind. I don't have high... <laughs> I don't have high hopes for the... Uh, I don't have high hopes. Well, I say it. No, I have... Never mind. We'll get into that later. First off, I'm going to go change my name, and then we're going to go start Lost Belt 4. What do you have to say for this? I can relate. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.